In this video, we're going to make a robot, and more precisely, we're going to make a talking, driving, trash can robot. Uh, but before we jump into that, let's take the intro. TEDx Copenhagen had in 2019 the theme Expect the Unexpected and because of that they thought it was a really cool idea to have a trash can that could drive around during their breaks and interact with people because who expects a trash can to even move around? Not to even speak of the trash can speaking to them. Uh, so they called us and I was thinking a bit about it and of course we can make that. So the idea is that we control the whole trash can using a PlayStation controller. The robot itself is based around an omnidirectional robot frame with an octagonal shape. We built the actual frame for the trash can out of aluminium profiles. Within the octagonal shape we have all the battery, we have the electronics, we have uh, all that kind of stuff. And on top of that we put a flat top so it makes it easy to mount the robot to different things that we need to drive around with. So I decided to go with a low profile design for the robot because I want it to be easy to attach to, in this case, the trash can. In order to achieve this low profile, I had to go in and take a look at the bigger size components. In this case, it's the battery. I wanted to have battery enough to drive around for a long time. TEDx is a long event. So I chose a LiPo battery with 22,000 mAh. I also chose to use geared DC motors called JGB37-550, which are quite high torque motors. Let's get the 3D printer rolling. There's a lot of stuff to be printed out so I can start building. So while that is printing, there's still plenty for me to do. There's all the electronics, the programming, not to mention the MDF works for the top and the bottom of the robot. So while this is printing, I'll just start building all the rest of the stuff. Within the robot, I have two Arduinos. I have an Arduino Nano and an Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is the one responsible for the whole communication to the uh, operator, as well as the communication inside of the robot, whereas the Arduino Nano functions as a motor controller. So that is only responsible for sending signals to the motors, and it gets its signals from the Arduino Uno, which is like the master of the robot. <laughs> The Arduino Uno is connected to a USB host shield and that one is connected to a uh, Bluetooth dongle so we can talk to the actual PlayStation controller. Inside the robot there's also an MP3 player in order to be able to do these responses and this MP3 player is a little module called a serial MP3 player A, uh, revision 1.0 I think, which is a classic Arduino MP3 module uh, that has a SD card that holds all the different responses basically. And in order to get the mp3s to work we also need to put in an amplifier to run the speakers. So I basically took some Logitech speakers and stripped them down, threw all the plastic away, put all the electronics into the robot except for the speakers themselves where I printed new speaker cases that would mount onto the framing of the trash can and then I run a cable down that attaches to an external port on the robot. We'll get a visit from a couple of people from TEDx Copenhagen that will bring all the graphics that is going onto the robot. And we've been told that it's gonna have a trashy look, so we're quite excited to see what that entails. Whoa, <laughs> the motor's working.
Vollstopp. What do you call the leader of a trash army? General Waste, haha. <laughs> Så venter vi egentlig bare på, at gæsterne kommer, og sagen bliver fyldt op, og så skal vi rundt og prøve at køre lidt ind i folk og overraske dem, og se om vi kan få folk til at smide affaldet her i. You know, you cannot run away from your problems, just like you cannot run away from your trash. <laughs> Det er det fedeste ever, det her. Okay, trash box. You cannot run away from your problems, just like you cannot run away from your trash. Oh, that's probably true, but I can try. <laughs> det, er, det er ligesom at flyve droner, det her. Den er, bare sådan, den er lidt mere chunky i det, den her. So yeah, here's the robot, but it's not done. Uh, thousands of things to continue improving on, so this is not just one episode. This is the beginning of a series. I'll be returning to this robot, and uh, one of the first things we're going to concentrate on is the uh, wheel suspension. There's none right now, and I also want to implement uh, an IMU. Uh, so we can do some better controls, but that's for later episodes, so subscribe to the channel and then we'll return to this robot again. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs> Hello. 
Det er, der er skidestiv på vej ind på byen.